Hello there Aquarius. This is Spirit Messages Timeless Reading for you guys. Let's see what's happening. First, let's see what happened in the past that we're going to tap into and look into. Let's see. We have here the Queen of Swords, which could, definitely could be you. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. Past energy. Ooh. Something about your love life. Okay, so we're tapping into something about something you love. Queen of Swords. Okay. Hmm. I have the deck upside down. Moving away from something. In the past, you moved on from something. You left something. Something maybe that you love, but you moved on from it. You had to move on from it. Let's see what else we get. Oops. We have, because it was sneaky, we have the fox. You had to move away from an energy that was somehow maybe manipulative, sneaky, um, deceitful, selfish. Okay. That's the energy we have there. Oops, these cards are all slippery. Okay, now, let's see what's happening in the present. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little tickle. I'm going to take a sip of water. Something scratch in my throat. I'm feeling a scratchy energy. <clears throat> okay, in the present... We have the Knight of Swords. Someone might be determined to come towards you in the present. They might rush in. We have, uh, they want to change things with you. Aquarius Libra Gemini could be any energy though. Anybody. Okay. This is the energy of this card. This is like, the Knight of Swords comes in swiftly. Failure is not an option. And they're determined. Let's see what else we get on this. Six of Cups, because there's a past connection here, memories, that is haunting this person probably. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ah, someone longing for someone, thinking about someone. You could be thinking about this person, the person could think about you. Okay, so now what is the hidden influences here? I just got heartburn. Ooh, I never get heartburn. All these are all signs. Some might be, have heartburn right now or or as I'm doing this this reading, which is, let me tell you what time it is. It's 2.20 p.m. that I'm feeling this heartburn. Eastern Standard Time on um, 8.15.2023. Okay. Strength. Leo Energy. <clears throat> okay. Night of Wands. It seems like someone's trying to get the strength to come in with a lot of passion and desire here. <clears throat> Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have here the monkey. And the monkey's like fooling around, monkey around. Maybe they're... I don't know. I don't know why I get the monkey. The monkey's like up to something. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah, and then the, that's um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be anybody. <clears throat> ah. Someone wants to come in and actually propose to you something. Now, it could be actual proposal, but it also could be, you know, wanting a commitment, wanting to try to get you to commit here. Yeah, or agree to something. They're trying to get the strength to do this, though. Okay, let's see what's going on with your energy. <clears throat> we have the High Priestess. You are the High Priestess. You're tapped into your intuition. You might be feeling this person. You might be feeling their energy. You might be feeling them thinking about you. You might be thinking about them. So let's see if you think about them like out of the blue. Okay. Now the high priest is Virgo and Cancer energy, but we're calling it your energy. 
because that's what you're tapping into, your energy. Clarify this a little more. Oops. Whoa. Okay, so we have here the Hermit and Temperance. Okay. So, feels like you're very strong spiritually. You're probably going deep within and finding answers, looking for... You're searching for answers for your question. You're very patient. Very patient. Um, Virgo energy. Sagittarius energy. But you're just balancing things out in your life. You're just... I feel like you're just... Your energy just feels like easy going. Nice and easy. Easy breezy. Let's see. Ah, but it goes deep. See, your energy goes really deep. You're 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 very complex, you're very deep. There's things that people don't understand about you. Because and you're also a wealth of knowledge here. I'm just feeling that, that there's something very deep about you. Very deep, very deep. They keep telling very deep. You don't know how far that you might go. <laughs> yeah, if you start digging because you have the hermit you're very patient you're you don't have no problem waiting for that bucket to get way down to the <laughs> bottom there to figure out what you have to figure out you will get there you will go there <laughs> okay so now what is the influence of others knight of wands again okay so for the hidden influence and the influence of others, we have someone that has a lot of passion, desire here. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But like I said, it could be any sign. Okay. A key. Knowledge. Learning something. Want to know something. I almost feel like this person feels like they have the key to open your lock. <laughs> and that's what they want to do. They want to open your lock. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Ah, they're working on this. This person is working on trying to figure out how to open your lock. Made it a pickpocket. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're, they're working on things. You know, it's kind of interesting because the Knight of Wands is jack of all trades. And then you have this person mastering something here. Really working hard on something. This person could also be just really working all the time. Let's see. And we, oh. Now, what is this? They might be cutting something out. They might be working really hard on removing something. This could be a bad habit. This could be a person. This person, they could be getting a divorce. They are definitely removing something, cutting something down. Yeah. This also could mean that they might arrive quickly towards you too. So be ready. Okay, let's see what else. What um what should you do at this point? Let's see. What should Aquarius be doing at this point? Oh, I just got a little headache now. Three of Swords. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. This is hurt. This is pain. Okay. Okay, let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here for what you should be doing? Let's see. Oh. Okay. Something about your burdens. You're working on your burden. You're going to be... I think you're going to be removed. I'm getting removed somehow. Three of swords. A letter. Okay. Ah. All right. I got it. You should be writing down how you feel on what you experience or how you want... What you want to say to this person. It feels like you should be writing this down to be ready to communicate when they come in to 
because it feels like you at, with the ten of wands you have to unload this you have to express it i'm getting such little headaches like ugh. so yeah so how much pain you felt what they did to you how they hurt you you're going to be expressing that and that is maybe you're going to even write just write a letter you don't have to give it to them just write a letter that's what you should be doing okay let's see now that possible outcome Ooh, the Ten of Wands again. Okay. You're putting, you definitely put an end to your burdens here. Let's see what's on the bottom here. Is this the tower? Ooh. So there's going to be a tower, a shock, a surprise. Change. There's going to be change here. Okay, let's see what else we have for this Ten of Wands. Two Ten of Wands. That's interesting. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. And we have the Two of Pentacles, balancing things out or juggling something, multitasking. Let's get something on this King of Pentacles. Now, this could be the person coming towards you, or this could be your energy. We have this as, I think this is the person coming towards you. Divinely guided. Or you are coming into a, if you have burdens as far as money, it feels like you're coming into a very financial situation here. Okay, let's see. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Let's get another clarifier here. Ooh, tick tock, time running out. Someone, I think this person coming towards you feels like they're running out of time because they want this love connection. This is the heart. This is coming together, trying to balance things out. I think this person is heavily thinking about how they could come to you. Because they don't really know what they're dealing with. <laughs> they're, this person feels so confused. They're really not sure what's going on. But they're coming. And you know, you just write down, start writing down what you want to say so you're prepared for when this person comes. That's what you should be doing to get rid of you. Unload your burden. It almost feels like maybe what you should even do is just write it all down and maybe even burn it and get rid of it. It's like whatever you have to do, you just have to bring it out. I feel bring out your pain. You know, almost like you have to face it. And then this person is coming in the outcome. They're coming towards you. A lot of love for you. You're going to have to make a decision what you want to do. They're going to shock you. They're going to surprise you in some way or another here. And we do have here the heart. This is love. This is a reconciliation. This is someone trying to fix this broken heart. Forgiveness. They're coming in for forgiveness. And they're going to shock you. Okay, now let's see what's going on with the Queen of Swords. So we have lying, will you, accused, truth. Okay, so I would think someone, you probably accuse someone lying and you want to know whether or not they'll bring you with, come in with the truth yet now because they were hiding something. They're trying to deceive you, get over on you or do something here. Okay, what about this Knight of Swords? Ooh, a tower, apology, hidden. Okay, so this person in the present is is hiding something. But they're going to surprise you. They're definitely going to surprise you. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Apology, a hidden apology? Maybe they're going to, I don't know how that works. <laughs> they're gonna apologize behind <laughs> I don't know oh my god something's hidden but maybe they're gonna apologize for hiding something from you that's what it is they're gonna apologize because they hid something from you that makes more sense okay what about this knight of swords of course rearrange it makes more sense to you another way or knight, I'm sorry knight of wands we have two knight of wands here so we have sincere intruder sincere wow Okay, so this is what 
is hidden here. This person is is intruding somehow, but they're being very sincere about it. Okay, let's see. What about this other nine of wands? This is the influence of others. Okay. Message. Obsessed. Fear. Okay, this person wants to get a message to you, but they're really fearing how you react. They're obsessing over this. Or they're obsessing over a message and it's bringing them fear. Okay, now what about this King of Pentacles? Desire, friend or friends, money. Hmm, okay. So, someone might desire money here. Might be a friend or friends. Let's get something on the money. A price tag. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that that's I don't not getting too much on that unless their friends put a price tag on something or may you know if this is your person not you I don't think this is you about this friend with money I'm thinking maybe your this person might have friends that are just there because they have money friend or friends desire money price tag buying things of course you know it could be for you but I'm not feeling that that strong Okay, let's see what signs we can be dealing with. What are the signs here for Aquarius? Let's see. Libra. Sagittarius. Scorpio. Pisces. Cancer and Libra. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Libra. Now we'll do the letters. We're gonna do eleven letters for initials. Initials will be for the first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for their first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. I, F, if, if you, <laughs> and, oh, we have I fun, Y, funny, I funny, Z, M, I'm sorry, I should do this, I, F, U, N, Y, Z, M, W, and my stomach keeps on growling, I don't understand how much I've grown so much lately, K, E, R. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are I F U N Y Z M W K E R. But we do have I here, we have if, and we also have fun. Okay, now let's see what names we have. What are the names that want to come out for Aquarius? What are the names? Okay. Okay, Rachel spelled R-A-E-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And then we have Omar. And we have Lou, L-U. We have Sharona. And Mark spelled M-A-R-C. We have Bobby, B-O-B-B-I. We have Pia, P-I-A. Rosa. Philip, Tiffany, and May, M A E. Let's see, three, six, nine. Oh, exactly 11. Perfect. Okay, so those are names. And remember, guys, these are general readings. Oh, Aquarius wanted to pop out under here. We These are general readings. Um, please only take if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements. And, um, also might give you more a bigger picture or more might click things together my everything just might sort of fall into place sometimes when you look at one of your other placements give you that missing piece that missing piece of the puzzle 
And um, also at the end of each one of these readings, guys, I always leave you the link to the previous reading, which was, um, it was something unknown, something, gee, I can't think of the name of that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Something you're not expecting. I think something like that, that these readings were really, really wild. Okay. So something you're probably not expecting is what the last ones were. And they were also timeless readings. I've been told to do some, a couple timeless readings before I start the September readings. All right, guys. So, um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.